Ah, you know it, and we love it. Our favorite segment of the week, Faith Friday, and we are pretty excited about this guest we have. He's built a massive following through his inspirational Instagram posts and poetry, and now the New York Times best-selling author has just released his third book. It is called Lighter. Let go of the past, connect with the present, and expand the future. Everybody, please welcome Diego Perez, better known as Young Pueblo, uh, online. Of course, man. It's, it's good to have you here. The book is very personal. You said you had to be vulnerable, and you talk about heartbreak, a heartbreak, um, essentially, that you had and that you write about. What, what was the heartbreak in your life, would you describe as? You know, thinking back, it really stems from when we first got here to the United States. So mm -hmm. I was originally born in Ecuador, and my family immigrated here when I was about four years old. Mm -hmm. So when we came to this country, the difficulty was uh, seeing the struggle that my parents were going mm -hmm. through to pay rent every month, to get food on the table. In a big way, we were stuck in a poverty trap. Mm -hmm. And it was hard seeing that, um, and it really sort of made all this um, sort of frustration, this fear, this anxiety manifest inside of me. And mm -hmm. as I got older, it sort of snowballed slowly. But when I got to college, it picked up and it uh, developed into, into some pretty nasty habits. You put out so many positive vibes, talk about self-love. Do you think that's something, I mean, do you, I mean, it might just be who you are, but given the times we're in, given the political uh, yeah, right. discord, given the, I mean, the we go from hurricane, we're talking today about potential nuclear war, we right. got all these things, right. do, you, do you think it's necessary and people are seeking out? They want, you got two million followers. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. think people are desperate to get this more positive vibes in their life these days? I think in a real way, misery is going out of style. Mm -hmm. I think people are tired of this internal tension of just this constant uh, suffering with no way out. And mm -hmm. I think we live in a special time where there are millions and millions of people who are actively healing themselves, and that's historically unprecedented. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a powerful movement that's happening. <laughs> misery is going out of style. I love that, man. And this is the part of our, uh, our show, of course. All of our viewers know Faith Friday. We hand it over to our guest, Give Folk. By all means, our viewers, some inspiration or words of wisdom going into the weekend. So the floor is yours. Um, I would really advise to people, one thing that can really help you is reflecting on the fact that change is happening. And it's happening all of the time. So being aware of that and being aware that everything's constantly moving, it actually helps you withstand the storms that arise better. And it also actually inspires you to show up for the people that you love in your life mm -hmm. in a way that's much deeper than you would have otherwise. And that is a, man, that is a constant, that's a daily exercise. We, we know it intellectually, but still it is hard to put it in practice, what you just described. It is so good, Diego, to have you here in the building. You had tons of fans, as we know, but congratulations on this book. And we want everybody to know lighter. You can get it now everywhere books are sold. So good to have Thank you in you studio, so my much, man. TJ. Thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.